Thalmir, a 32 foot westerly fulmar, left the X on the morning of Sunday the 5th of June, bound for Sulcombe or Plymouth. With a very light Force 2 on the nose, my motor sailed for a while with some company until at start point the wind and wind angle improved and we sailed past what I think are some of the most attractive headlands in the south coast, Bolt Head and Bolt Tail and then across Bigbury Bay dropping anchor in Corsand Bay. On the Monday I made for Newlyn and anchored outside Newlyn Harbour ready for an early departure on the Tuesday, which would be my last opportunity to cross to Scilly before the strong winds which were forecast. I approached the islands via Crow Sound and then up to Old Grimsby Harbour, anchoring underneath the old blockhouse. change of scenery, I motored past St Martin's and the Eastern Isles to Watermill Cove and anchored in clear sandy seabed. around here were delightful, including the Inisgen entrance grave and the adjacent massive rope swing. Definitely somewhere I will return to. From Watermill Cove I motored around to Porth Cressa on St Mary's, ready to meet Ruth, arriving by plane on the Monday. The roof seems so inviting. Then. Together we motored around St Agnes in search of the puffins which nest on Annet. We only saw one, but the seascape is stunning. So lead me to the harbour. Anchored in the cove between St Agnes and Goo. Sink me in the ocean. To sleep in a sailor's Leaving the cove, we motored across the flats between Tresco and Briar to our favourite anchorage in Green Bay.
Having only visited once many years ago, we made a return trip to the Abbey Gardens of Tresco. We enjoyed a week at anchor in Green Bay, taking the ground seven hours out of twelve and often walking ashore. Then we moved Thalmia back to Old Grimsby Harbour. taking a short lunch break at Tian and then back to Anchor on the beach next to the old blockhouse on Tresco. For a day trip, we took a boat trip to St Martin's. Very wet morning turned into a breezy but fine afternoon. In the rather breezy weather we had, some boats came unstuck, literally. Then, after two weeks together, Ruth took a flight back to Exeter. And I took the north exit out of Old Grimsby Sound past Men of All, Round Island and White Island. Across the shipping lanes and back to mainland England.
Good. 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 Good.